Yo 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 YouTube, how's it going today? Just wanted to drop a quick video on the keybinds that I use as well as a movement guide for you guys. I made one like a while back but I haven't updated it in a few months and a lot of you guys have been asking for this so I just thought I would make this video for y'all just to reference. Starting off here, I guess I'll just kind of go over like my keybind philosophy and why I chose the keybinds that I did. So first things first, I come from Fortnite for like my competitive gaming background and obviously um, Fortnite is a game where you have to be super good with your keyboard and pretty much what I learned in Fortnite through all the building and everything was just to have my keybind set up as optimal as possible. Now what I mean by this is trying to spread out as many keybinds as possible to different fingers. For example, just looking at my keyboard here, um, for my index finger I use 3, 4, R, and C. The reason I have quite a few binds on this finger is just because the index finger is the fastest and most agile finger of the hand, so that's why I have the most binds on that finger. I use my thumb for the space bar, N and M. N is my ping, M is the map. I use my ring finger for 1 and Z. And then I use my pinky for shift and control, which is how I slide cancel. So basically what I try to do with my keybinds is basically just spread them out all across of my hand. That way I can hit things faster. And at the end of the day, I think that is the best case scenario for being as good as you can on your own keybinds. If you guys actually want to see what I have bound, here you go. I also have backwards bound to my mouse button, so I have that double bound. But yeah, these are my keybinds, kill streaks, and that kind of shit doesn't really matter, as well as this other stuff. Just use what's comfortable. Another thing I want to talk about is the interact key. I use my interact as C, and a lot of people may think this is weird because typically for interact, you're going to use F or E. The reason I did this is because F and E are super good keys to hit fast. So if you guys are looking to change up some of your binds, I recommend using like Q, E, F, and even like 3, 4, 1, and C. Those are super, super good keys to hit and you can even use like caps lock and tab if you really want to. Next, as far as what I do for movement, there are a few things. Um, if you guys are wondering how I switch weapons like this so fast, it's just scroll wheel and timing it with the auto attack sprint to cancel it and to end up back on the right gun so you don't like swap to your callies on accident or anything. I just hit my primary button or my secondary. So first things first, I also use auto attack sprint, which I think is super beneficial. The only thing it kind of fucks with is when you're using shotguns and shit on Warzone. Um, it's like super hard to hit fire and auto attack sprint at the same time. Like sometimes it'll just sprint on accident and it won't fire. Other than that, I think auto attack sprint is probably way better to use. It just makes things a lot easier. I still actually mash my shift bar just out of habit, but um, auto attack sprint, you won't have to do that. All right, I guess the first thing I'll go over, um, everyone knows like slide canceling, but all you have to do for slide canceling is literally just make sure you're attack sprinting. And then once you're attack sprinting, I just do control, control space. So you want to slide twice, or I guess crouch or slide. So you just want to slide twice like this and then jump. The reason why you jump at the end is just to pop up a little bit faster. And you can also change like the duration. You can do a fast slide super fast one or you can like extend it like this that's just kind of like a per scenario thing you're just gonna have to play around with it and get comfortable with it next you guys pretty much know this one as well it's just a b hop so that you're just flying around a corner say this is a wall right here um and you just want to fly around this corner and say your enemy's right here you're just gonna go like this and you have to time the jump with when you hit the ground and just keep moving to the side so again it's just kind of like a timing thing but yeah basically you just strafe out that was not the best one, but here's another one. Yeah, you get the idea. So basically, you just got to time your jump, and then, yeah, you should be chilling. You can also do it from the left. There was a good one right there. You can also do it moving backwards. The thing with that is you need, like, backwards momentum, so you can go like this. The reason why I have my backwards bounded on my mouse button, I don't know if you guys can see that, um, but yeah, I have it bounded to this button right here. That is literally just for this movement. So if I want to stay moving backwards, I literally just hold my mouse button here and shoot. The same my enemies here and I literally just want to go like this. It's kind of the reasoning behind my binds. Off stream follows, we love it. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, kind of what that looks like. Other than that, those are pretty much like the essential, I guess, like movements you guys should probably practice and get down. 
Um, the double wang that I do, that's not essential. That's kind of just like a nervous, not a nervous habit, but just like a weird habit that I have. I guess another thing I do a lot is I do like a re-challenge. So say like there's an enemy at this box right here. Um, say I run around the corner, I have like my Cali sticks out and I'm not in a position to shoot them. I'll actually duck back behind the cover and then re-challenge it. And a lot of the times the people won't be expecting you to re-challenge it like that. And you can usually catch people off guard. It also looks pretty sick when you do it. Say my enemy's around the corner here and I don't know he's there. Say I got my Cali sticks out, I'm just fooling around and I see him. Once you get the information, he's there, duck behind cover, switch weapons or whatever you need to do and then re-challenge it. So you run around the corner, dip back and then re-challenge it. You can b-hop or whatever you want. That's pretty much it for the most part. I mean, there's really not much to Warzone movement aside from just getting comfortable with, uh, you know, what you have set up. So again, what we learned is just basically slide canceling. You can have different length slide cancels. You can have a short one or you can have a longer one. Also the B-Hop, which is just a timing thing for the most part. You can B-Hop from any direction pretty much. But yeah, um, that is about it. I think if you guys have a few questions. Please be sure to ask a few down below. And I will also be making an aiming guide with aim lab soon. So keep an eye out for that. I'm just finishing up on my playlist. But yeah, hopefully you guys found this video helpful. I'm not going to keep it too long because I don't really need to drag it out that much. But um, yeah, if you guys found this content helpful in any way, shape or form, please be sure to drop a like. I would greatly appreciate it. And yeah, take it easy, guys.